Good morning. It's Tuesday, the March 10th. It's the last week of the legislative session, except for veto day. Uh, the state bar is essentially done with its work. Uh, we've we passed, and the governor has signed the voting trust bill, the cross credit and shared parenting, and also the charging order in LLPs. Uh, as you know from previous reports, uh, I had to table the nonprofit. Uh, act because of the confusion and the complexity. Uh, I've been working and I've got a number of amendments and I've given them to LRC and I'll be meeting with the Business Law Committee and the Subcommittee on Nonprofits in April and we will develop cross-table references and we're going to incorporate uh, the necessary amendments that, uh, uh, that I learned of that, uh, during the, the process of the session. Uh, I can tell you that we are not going to have a grandfather clause in the bill for next year. The existing nonprofits can have a choice. They can continue to act under that ancient 1965 act, or if they're willing to, to uh, amend their articles and bylaws uh, to incorporate uh, the transparency and accountability that the new act, uh, revised model act, brings, then they could also take advantage of the additional options that uh, that the new bill will afford them. Uh, right now, we've been working very hard this last 10 days to help the second and seventh circuits uh, get an additional judge. I can tell you, even though the legislators don't know it, uh, an amendment's going to be offered to a certain bill this afternoon in an attempt to push the issue to a conference committee where the two bodies, the House and the Senate, can hopefully come together, find the money uh, to fund those two slots and proceed. And with that, I look forward to seeing all of you in Rapid City uh, in June for our annual convention.